It's time. Uh, I am so excited for this, guys. Uh, I don't do as many streams on my channel, but man, am I hyped for this. Uh, tonight is all about an awesome group of people showing passion for what they legitimately think they might be one of the biggest fans of. That's all this is about. So whatever these guys pick, if they think they are legitimately one of the biggest fans for any reason, they're going to talk about it, why they love it. If they have cool little trinkets and stuff, if they got collectibles, multiple versions, they're going to show it. This is going to be a really good time. Uh, got great people here. A couple people that might show up late or might not make it, but all is good. Everyone's links are down below, sub, follow, all that jazz. But why don't we bring in the first guest, which is a staple to everybody's channel because he is amazing. And he's the first person in the physical media hall of fame. <laughs> Tony, hey how are you doing? Good. How are you doing, Tim? Doing good. Did uh, Bob send you your uh, trophy yet for the Physical Media Hall of Fame? No trophy. No trophy. No trophy. Oh, no. man. <laughs> well, well, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I don't have the trinkets. I don't have the um, the stuff, but, but these movies are real dear to me, and I'm excited to talk about them. That is great. All, all I wanted was the passion for whatever you're pulling, so yeah. you will bring that, so all is good. Uh, next up is a first time to my channel. We have Nick of a movie AV impulse. How you doing, man? What's up, man? How y'all doing? Doing good. good. I'm, I'm thrilled to get you on here, man. I, there's a lot of people I've been wanting to get on here for the first time. So I'm glad to have you on. Yeah. I appreciate it. It's, it's easier on the weekends. <laughs> my Monday through Friday sucks. <laughs> yeah. It's the main reason I, I do Saturday nights. I'm like, I don't know. I feel less stressed doing on Saturday night cause I have Sunday off. So I'm like setting up my own stream. Yeah, Saturday night works. So, but thank yeah. you for being here, man. I bet you have some awesome picks, right? I appreciate it. Yeah, and you know, I'm a little unorthodox, probably, but two movies that actually made me cry. And I don't, I'm not really a crier, but two movies that actually made me cry. They're real sentimental to me. That's good. Anything that can really hit you in that emotional center, man, it sticks with you. Because that one of my yeah. potentials here, yeah, it, it does that. So. <laughs> Next up, we have someone that's feeling a little down under the weather. Let's all hope he feels better. But he still came in here because he's awesome. A fan of everyone's channel. The guy has been around for so long. Cody, dude who loves movies. What's How up, you doing, man? man? I'm good, thank you. Can you guys hear me all right? Yep. All right. Th thanks for having me. Sorry. Uh, sorry, I am a little bit under the weather. So hopefully I'm not coughing too much or anything like that. But uh, thanks for having me. I, di I didn't want to miss it. I appreciate that you're even still here sick, man. That real that means a lot to me, seriously. So, and you still got the radio voice. 
<laughs> man yesterday i couldn't even talk without coughing so i was like all day i was like i just hopefully tomorrow I wake up and it's a better day and yeah. you know i felt a lot better all day today so still yeah. coughing but i like I, you probably can't tell but i feel like 95 percent better oh, it, yeah. It, it, yeah it was a bad week it's <laughs> it's bad you look like a million bucks, man. Yeah. Yeah. The, rasp, the raspy voice is even raspier, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I definitely wanted to tell you guys I felt sick. I don't want people over here thinking I was like drunk or something. Well, this is my favorite movie because of blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> And the beer is still on point. So you're good, man. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Next up, we have someone that I've been on a lot of his streams lately. The guy is a streamaholic and he's so damn good at it. We have Mega Mike, the movie man. Hello, everyone. Mega Mike, the movie man here. Thank you, Tim, for having me on this stream. I'm super excited for it because for a little while it was throwing me off. I'm like thinking, what am I a big fan of? And I couldn't think of it for like days and days. And then I just looked around my game room and I'm like, oh, it all hit me at once. So I'm doing franchises here. So I got a lot of collectibles to show off with some of these. You probably got some Funko to show, right? Oh, I got a lot of Funko. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And next up, we have the super secret special guest. I've hinted at it already. Uh, one of the best guys around. I talk to him all the time. Love this guy. We have Hawk. Yeah, yeah. What's going on, y'all? Hey, like, Hawk. I'm thrilled to have you on here, man. Thanks, buddy. This is exciting. I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Right as I logged in, we lost power. It's snowing out here in California. Oh. Wow. Oh, my God. Like, like, and right as I, I took a breath, all the lights, everything went down. I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> so, I, I saw you drop out, and I'm like, oh no, I wonder what happened. Yeah, look, ain't nothing gonna keep me from you, man. Uh, yeah, I'm excited about tonight. I knew when you asked me to come on as a secret guest, I already had two out of the gate. I knew I was a super fan of the third one, came to me almost instantly. So nice. I'm ready to go. At some point, when the internet's back up, I'll probably switch back to the uh, the computer, but this is working for now. Is it working all right? Yeah, good? yeah, man, you look good. That works all right. <laughs> and before we dive into this, since uh, the other people, like I said, can't make it yet, they might pop in, but this is who we got for right now. Uh, let's announce Mike and Huck are here, and the two of us, me, we make the Collector's Club. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're our yeah. own trio now. <laughs> oh. That's right, Tony. Better watch out. The Collector's yeah. Club is coming. Yep, so uh, we will be announcing more, but we're going to have a live stream next month, and it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to cover a lot of different topics and cover stuff that feels us, too. Like, we will be showing the collectibles, the posters. We're going to be talking about all that different stuff. You know, if you're going to do this type of thing, aim it towards what you are, what speaks to you. So, yeah, the three of us, we're, we're our own trio. <laughs> so we're just hey, announcing that. Hey, Tim, can I say something real quick? Yeah. Yeah. When it comes to posters, all of y'all smoked. I'm sorry. Tim, you got the crown right there. <laughs> well, that's why like Tim's on the crew. <laughs> <laughs> so let's make a quick run through to see who's here. We have Bob, which he was supporting this right off the bat. I love you, Bob. I Yeah, we love you, Bob. <laughs> if, I, if I could have Bob on every stream, but I was trying to aim for some people that I haven't had on here as much. And then there's Tony, which I can't not have a stream without Tony. <laughs> <laughs> hey Johnny, Mama Blu-ray. Mama Thank Blue. you for being Mama here. Mama Blu-rays, what's up? We got Movie Hunter here. Howdy. Movie Hunter. My good buddy John Flatex too. This guy is awesome. I talk hey, to him John. all the time. He, I have, yeah, we have such similar tastes. He started back with YouTube right now. He had a big break and he's back, so I'm very happy about that. Yes. This panel is on another level. Seriously, you got Cody, Nick, Tony, Tim, Mike, and that special guest I can't name. <laughs> <laughs> it is a killer panel for sure. I'm, I'm always grateful for anybody that pops in. Uh, we got Bin Buster. We got Tony Movie and more. Howdy. We have Holland here, of course, because he's awesome. Yep. Hey, Holland. Really? A I'm minute and 40 second timer. Yeah, I've, I'm sorry if that was a little long with the whole YouTube algorithm thing. You need, like, once you go live, you need it to give it a moment for to send out to people. So, yeah, sorry if it was a little long. <laughs> Roundhouse kick that like button. Whoa! <laughs> Who else have we got here? Uh, we got lots of Bob, which is awesome. Lots of Bob. 
He's out working, but he's still listening. Uh, Cinema Inspired, great panel. Should be fun. Thank you for being here. The Tone Zone. How you doing, PMAC movies? We got Derek. Ahoy there, movie geeks. Ahoy there. Steve here. Yeah. Eugene Rawls. Hey. We got Vinicio here. How you doing, man? What about Vinicio? We got Mika. What's up, buddy? Hey, totally Mika. Mika. Breakdown. Absolutely. Breakdown is badass. We got Fish here. Who else we got? What about uh, Fish? Fish. Don't know. Dark Light Entertainment. We got movies with Ryan. Yo, stacked panel. So I'm here. Let's dive into this. Tony, you want to kick this off with uh, sure. round number one? Yep. So, so this movie is one that I that I love. Um, it came out in 1987, the same year that I graduated from high school. And I've got a lot of great memories of it. This does not have a Blu-ray release, which is unfortunate. Um, I don't have any special items for this particular film because there really wasn't anything that was put out. Maybe a soundtrack. I think I do have the cassette tape. But it is for love. Oh, this is nice. Great film. Like I said, I graduated in 87. This is the year this one came out. It's about this. Um, well, actually, it's got Patrick Dempsey and Amanda Peterson in it. And she's a cheerleader and he's a nerd. And I can probably relate to the nerd part, not the cheerleader part. But um, <laughs> you, you never, never know. know. Well, let's hope not, right? <laughs> um, but he paid he paid a thousand dollars to have her um, show him some attention and to make him popular. Um, she it was kind of like a um, well, the title can't buy me love, but they kind of fell for each other. And it's just a really good story. I just love this film. Anybody else a big fan of this one? I've actually never I haven't seen, seen that. that. I've not seen that in like 15 years, dude. <laughs> It, it, it feels like a John Hughes film, and yeah. I, it's, it's Ooh, just that great. makes me want to see it. You, you, yeah, yeah, you sold me with saying John Hughes. Yes, yeah. and like I said, this is the VHS. Um, it has a DVD release, but never got a Blu-ray release. This right here, I have a lot of good fond memories of. I was at a film festival in Tucson, Arizona. I'm from Tucson, and I went to this film festival that was at this like hole in the wall theater. And you go into this theater, and it has like this. It's like a it has like a shrine of all this memorabilia from can't buy me love. Oh, wow. I guess they filmed it in Tucson, Arizona. Okay. I didn't know that But in the bathroom, there's like all this memorabilia and everything. It was pretty cool to see. I was like, dang, so apparently there is some memorabilia out there, but apparently this one place has it all. Yeah. It's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Tony, yeah. uh, fish will challenge you. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> fish probably loves this film too. <laughs> And Bob, I know Bob loves that one too, but that is an awesome poll, man. I know yeah, a lot of people love that one, but you are the number one fan in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nick, what you got? All right, well, I'm going to end up bringing the mood down because you popped out a comedy, but uh, <laughs> just because of the household that I grew up in, uh, drug addiction is a very strong subject. Um, and actually watching my parents and grandparents go through withdraw basketball diaries is one of the reasons why I actually did not become a drug addict because it runs in the family. So for this, for me, for this movie, like Leonardo DiCaprio just portrayed a addicted, uh, you know, fiend like so well, I mean, Mark Wahlberg did a great job too, but I mean, nothing can beat Leo. So this is what really made me fall in love besides what's eating Gilbert Grape. Um, made me fall in love with Leonardo DiCaprio. He should have got an Oscar. He should have got Grammys, all that, just for this movie, let alone, uh, what was it, Reven, Reven, Revenue? Revenue? Revenue, yeah. Yeah, whatever it's called. But Revenant. this movie, it just really holds a special place. Uh, I know this does have a Blu-ray release, but this is one of those ones where even if it came out with a 4K, I couldn't buy it again because this is the way I remember watching it because it's just as shitty looking as the VHS was. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, it's it's crazy though. If you have something like a specific thing that holds a sentimental value, yeah, it doesn't matter how many times they upgraded or anything. Like I remember on one of these past streams where we've been talking about toys and you, if you have toys from your childhood and you don't have them anymore, rebuying it's not the same mm -hmm. no, it's not. 
you want that original feel, the original one that you had. So yeah, I get that. That's a that's a cool pick and definitely counter what uh Tony pulled for sure. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry bring the mood down, but that's uh, no, things, that, things that hold sentimental value to me are mostly things that, you know, had to do mirroring my life. So that's why, you know, yeah. Yeah, something you can relate to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for sure. That is an awesome pick, man. All right, Cody, can you follow that one up? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take it back to the comedies. <laughs> <laughs> this is a movie I used to watch at home all the time. It was on HBO all the time. I have it on VHS, DVD, and unfortunately, it does not have anything past that. It's a movie that I kind of relate to, and it's kind of weird to think about, but it's uh, Blank Man. Dude! Oh, oh dude. <laughs> Awesome movie, man. Yeah, so I think I really relate to uh, Daryl because he's uh because I was uh, I was raised by my grandma and he's raised by his grandma in this and then you know uh, she gets killed by some thugs then he goes out and tries to protect you know get revenge and you know save the city that is corrupted by this thug and when I was a little kid I was like I would do the same thing if that happened to my grandma you know and it you know and he he would sit there he'd watch the old episodes of uh, Batman. Uh, in rock or you know, Batman, the old uh, 60s TV show, and I'd sit there and watch uh, Ninja Turtles or or you know, uh, Batman Michael Keaton, I'd like reenact the moves. So it was kind of like, uh, you know, I kind of related in that way. And then sometimes, you know, uh, er early, early in my life, you know, we would have that TV with antennas where you'd have to like stand in a certain place so it would, yeah. uh, uh, work well. And there's a scene in this, like, it's, I think it's the very first scene of the movie where they're trying to get the tv to work well so they can watch it watch batman and uh so i just i think it's a movie i really relate to and when i tell people that they're like oh yeah because you're a nerdy black guy cody and it's like <laughs> no <laughs> no no it's, it's much deeper than that and, and and then once i tell people like oh no it's much deeper than that blah blah, blah they're like blank man i'm like yes blank man e either they haven't heard of it and they're like oh okay yeah and it sucks too because i've heard uh or i've seen fans go up to uh uh, Damon Wayans and be like, "Hey, uh, uh, are we gonna get a blank man too?" And he just kind of laughs at him. So mm -hmm. I don't know if he likes the movie or not. But then uh, Damon Wayans, he's my favorite Wayans, and it's because of this movie. I was a huge fan of In Living Color. So me too. Uh, I think that's yeah. maybe what, what brought me to this movie. But yes, I I, I love this movie. And all those movies were great from from the Wayans brothers. Uh, yes. Just yeah. uh, Major Pain is my favorite one. Uh, but so good. Uh, Low down, what is it? Low down, dirty uh, chain. I mean, that one was fantastic. This, the, the Wayne's brothers were killing it back then. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually looking to see if his brother directed it, but I don't think he did. I think it was Tom Siegel. Oh. But yeah, and I also have the one sheet of it, so I oh. do have quite a. Few oh, you got the one sheet. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I wish the one sheet was this, but it's <laughs> not. Uh, but uh, we'll uh, we'll do deal with what I got. That's awesome, and I don't th think many people would argue with you on Blank Man. You probably are one of the biggest fans, and that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mike, your turn. All right, so I went with a lot of mainstream franchises and characters here, so I had to go with Rocky, of course. So uh, this DVD box set was one of the first movie box sets I ever got. And I literally go through this franchise at least three times a year. So I watch all the Rocky movies. I watch all the Creed movies. So anytime they come out with a collection, I always have to upgrade it. Of course, I'm going to go watch Creed 3. And here's my still books for Creed, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, I love this franchise. It's so motivational, so inspirational. Like, I'm a sucker for inspirational stories. And to me, the Rocky movies just hit home every time. It, like... They're my workout movie. So if I'm ready to work out, I need to get pumped up. Boom. I put on any of the Rocky movies. I'm good to go. And of course, got to show off a Funko Pop. So we got Rocky with the chicken there. Yep. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So because I watch this movie franchise more than any of my other movies, that's why I feel like I'm the biggest fan of the Rocky and a Creed franchise. But. If I had to pick one of them, Rocky Four. IV. Rocky Four IV is the best. Oh, it's everybody's favorite. Rocky Three. Rocky oh, Three. Mr. Rocky. T. I love Mr. T. Rocky yeah. Three. That man was so disrespectful in the real life. <laughs> he done whooped his ass. Hey, yeah, Rocky Three hey, is my boy. second favorite. What's going down here? 
I'll show you what a real man feels like. Yeah. Oh, my God. He was just so ignorant. It was just so Mr. T. That's all he did was play Mr. T. It was great. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And I love the, the Rocky movie so much. Like, even though people don't like Rocky Five, I love Rocky Five. I like I Rocky, Rocky Five, too. Five yeah, me too. All the time. Tommy okay. Buns, it, you know what's funny? I didn't even know Tommy Buns was a real uh, boxer. Mm-hmm. My buddy told me that like 10 years ago. He's like, yeah, Nick, that was a real boxer. I'm like, really? <laughs> I, I didn't even know that. So, yeah, I'm a I'll big fan something. of boxing too, so that helps, yeah. yeah. I, I'm going to get myself canceled here, but I haven't seen all the Rocky movies. Uh, especially like I've never seen any of the Creed's. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys got <laughs> to I don't need to. Tonight. You got to do it. No, I, send me your two steel books and I'll watch them. <laughs> it's crazy though. I, I live in PA and I'm only two hours from Philly. Never seen the steps. Haven't seen all the movies. I've actually only seen uh, what first, second Rocky Balboa and the first Creed. I think is all uh, I saw. Okay, you need to watch part three and part four. If he dies, if he dies. <laughs> well, hey, the first day collection is coming out, and I ordered the knockout collection just so I could watch that director's cut of four the first day it releases. I didn't want the still books because then I want to get that director's cut till later on. I'm like, I need to see four director's cut first time I can. So oh, I only ordered the Rocky did you, see, did you see it in theaters, Mike? No, not the not the no. director's cut of four. I missed it. They didn't have it by a theater when they did like their fan event. Yeah. I've been waiting so long. I'm like, when is it getting a physical release? Like, yeah, that's the day you pick yeah. up when it gets mm-hmm. physical. So, I'm yeah. ah, so excited for it. It's good. It's good. You'll like it. What did they add to it? A couple more minutes? Or, like, is there a whole, like... It's actually a lot. It's a lot different, to be it's honest with you. Total re-edit. It, yeah, it's a total... Yeah, Stallone um, went back and re-edited the whole thing. So, there's no... Uh, like, the storyline's a little different. They took out a lot of the Russian lady, the... They took a lot of, you know, his ex-wife, they took a lot of her out. They took out all, a lot of Polly's stuff just because they wanted to take out the robot stuff. And they focused more on Apollo in the beginning. Uh, I do like the original cut better, but I think it's because I grew up watching the original. Yeah, cut. I was about to say, I like the Russian yeah. lady. She was, she reminded me of my wife. She'll defend me all day. So, yeah, I think she says one thing in the director's, or in the director's cut. Uh, really yeah, yeah I, w- I won't watch that one then. I don't. No, I, 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 yeah, you should still give it a try, but uh, I, I'll give it a not, try. Mike, send me your it, copy. It's a Rocky movie, so by default, it's great. Uh-huh. Simple as that. I agree with Mike. They go All the from Rockies are semi great to absolutely great. That's the range of Rocky movies. So I guess I need to watch these 4Ks right when I get them. Next yes, time. yes. Uh, three yeah, you definitely should check them out. Not. They're life changing, Tim. I'm telling you, you're going to be running up the Philadelphia steps after you watch them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you're gonna, you're gonna playing gonna fly now and then working at the kitchen. Yeah, it's great. Hey, that's why I'm in my uh sweating gear right now. I got my sweats on, I'm like, I'm ready to go. <laughs> All right, Huck, can you follow up Rocky? Well, uh, l- let me ask you how many rounds is this? Three or five? It's it's three and then honorables if we have time. Well, then, in that case. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I need those. I take you on, Mike, as the Rocky Balboa chair. No, no. Look at this. I got two Migos of Rocky right here. You know, I got you like, what you got? The, the undisputed, the entire thing here. You know, you got the heavyweight thing here. And I even kept the original. Uh, this fantastic special DVD that's got uh, bonus stuff that's not in any of the other stuff. It's like it's got a uh, an Easter egg on here where Stallone talks to Rocky, like they come mm. split screen, but but they they put him on the screen together. And so so Stallone is asking Rocky stuff. Uh, so good, uh, you know. And then like, so I I love Rocky so much. Hang on. So I took this this Migo Rocky right. This is this. Is, and I bought another one so I could customize it into the Thug Rocky. That's awesome. You, you got Nick really rolling with that. Oh my god, that's awesome. Dude, <laughs> Hux is the man, yo. You can't buy this. This is a Huckster original. This is a Thug Rocky right here. Look at the hat. <laughs> Just like the hat. I, I gotta find a tiny a tiny little racket ball for him to squeeze on though. Um, oh, that's awesome. Hang on, we got one more coup de gras. Ready? Here we go. 
I know, I know what you're going for. Yeah, man. Oh. Oh yeah. Signed. Right. Signed. Show me that. Here's the wait. Where's the signature? There right there. Right there. Right there. Here it is. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, Mike, he just smoked you. What? I have one question. I got one question for you, Huck. Which Are you getting the 4K's day one pickup? Well, here's the deal. Um, I'm not doing the Steelbooks because I think that's a waste because mm -hmm. it's not all of them. And I don't want to. So my thing is, as a fan, I want to, but I also hate wasting money. That's like $50, $60 you're throwing down the drain. When uh, it's six and months. waste money, Huck. I'm just saying, if you're a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, come on, let me tell you what a real fan is. Big fan. Hell yeah, a real fan wastes money. I pity the saying. Huck. <laughs> I pity the Look, I've met Mr. T twice, and I told him how awesome he was. Um, and I've met Stallone. Let's say, I don't, where's my autograph? I don't have the autograph. But I met Stallone, and, and he said, well, that's, he signed the, the poster and, and – uh, the DVD, which I don't have right there. So, and I love the story about how Stallone got it made. He wasn't even supposed to be in it. Like he said, yeah. you guys know the story, right? He, he told him, um, uh, I'm not going to let somebody else do this. He talked to his girlfriend. He says, look, this is your ticket. Stick to it. And so they said, okay, Stallone wants to be in it. And all the producers are like, well, who's Stallone? And so we'll go watch Lords of Flatbush. He's in that. So they watch Lords of Flatbush. Okay. It says Stallone is in, make the movie. I start watching the rushes and they're like, ah, it look, looks look really good. But where's Stallone? I think, like, what do you mean? He's the guy you've been watching. They go, oh, oh, well, we thought it was Perry King. They thought Perry King was Stallone when they were watching Lords of Flatbush. So they okayed it based on Perry King. <laughs> and, <laughs> pretty funny, huh? and Henry Winkler helped uh, <laughs> Stallone get the script sold. So you got that because they worked for Lords of Flatbush. So yeah, man. Top that. Hey, I watched the special <laughs> features too. I know that stuff. I mean, you know? All right. All right. All right. <laughs> I like this. Let's, uh, let's, keep, let's keep this going. That's rocky push, you know, right? I will break you. And guys, I have a video coming out that tells everyone why I'm the biggest fan of Rocky. <laughs> or why I'm the biggest fan of Stallone. So uh, it's coming soon, Nick. <laughs> but can you eat like Me and Nick have it coming. <laughs> Oh, man, you weren't supposed to drop that, man. But you know, it's, it's all good. <laughs> I had, I had to. Yeah, they were talking. They were talking about Rocky and Stallone. I just had to. I know. I know. I, I see. It, Nick. Yeah. All right. I got a Rocky. I got a Rocky video coming up too um, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mike, I'm glad we found it. <laughs> I do like Rocky, though. That's for sure. Yeah. <sighs> My, I don't know, you know, it, it, I mean, if this was a competition, I mean, he might have beat you with that fungal pop, but uh, this ain't a competition, so you definitely got that one, Hugs. I don't know, that you know fungal I'm pop. Like, you mean this Funko pop? Or... <laughs> this is a Funko shop exclusive, okay? No, 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 this, is not, this is not Ben versus oh, Alex. Hugs got there, okay? that one. Okay. I mean, I was trying to like slow down a little bit. If I have to pull it out, I'll pull it out. Pull it out. Whip it out. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, let's not do that. <laughs> uh, don't that, do that, that unless we got April or something. Don't do that. That is that is very impressive. You have Stallone's signature, though. That's, yeah, that's that awesome. is so cool. I, I agree. I, and I, I put this in my office. Literally, it hangs right next to me over here to motivate and encourage me and when i look over at that thing i think of everything he went through to become who he is and it's you know <laughs> i'm nowhere near anywhere that kind of success but it's that kind of heart that i try to you know put into what i do so that's why this is special mm -hmm. how do i follow up a signed rocky one sheet man show your show your real life dinosaur that you have in the backyard yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> all right so for mine I feel like I, I actually do feel like I might be the biggest fan of this. I might, I feel like I might like it more than the director, even. Uh, so I'll go big screen here. Yep. I adore Dunkirk. Uh, many people know I love Dunkirk. I know Mike, <laughs> Mike is leaving. <laughs> Mike hates this movie, and I love it so much, but uh. 
<laughs> yeah, legitimately not lying. This is a top five movie all time for me. Like, not, not lying. So I adore this movie. I'm Tim, I swear to God, Tim, I knew you were going to pull that shit out. <laughs> Stallone this, does not approve. Honestly, God, do you think if Nolan was making his top five of, of his movies, he'd even put Dunkirk? I oh, my God. But I Sorry, love Tim, it. I, was, I was falling asleep I, for a second. Wait. I, I, <laughs> I have the making of Dunkirk because, of course, I love the movie. And, and of course... How could I not have the upside down one sheet? <laughs> Is it signed? Look at that. Look at that, man. So, I honestly think I am one of, if not the biggest Dunkirk fan. Just saying. Yeah, I, you know, I've never seen that movie. I'll have to watch it. You might be like Mike, but I love it. <laughs> Proceed with caution. <laughs> a good double feature. If you're gonna do that, skin him a rink first, then Dunkirk. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let's make a run through the comments. I imagine we're not gonna see a whole lot of comments on the love for Dunkirk. Uh, <laughs> I just love that attitude. I knew, I knew he was gonna pull that movie. I swear to God. <laughs> I still didn't expect it. <laughs> well, so, so seriously. Um... Jurassic Park, Ghostbusters, and Die Hard, I can't with a straight face say I'm the biggest fan of those movies. They're my yeah. top three, but there are like crazy Die Hard fans of those. But Dunkirk, I actually think I am. Uh, George Segor loved Can't Buy Me Love, though. So nice. great pick, Tony. <coughs> Tony, what about the Nick Cannon remake? He made a remake of that? Yeah, I've never seen that. Yeah. Oh, geez. Probably, probably procreated three kids during that. I think it's called. I think it's called "My Love Don't Cost a Thing." Oh, something like that. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I missed that one. Uh, PR movie wax. I have new Texas Chainsaw Steelbook 4K. Nice. Uh, Tony's moving. Uh, B Star Cinema. Clueless B is fire. <laughs> uh, it's better than John. Ooh, that is that's fighting words almost. Better. Yeah. It's it's can't find love. Check it out. Better than John Hughes. Wow. Ooh. Check it out. What do you think of that? I'm the biggest John Hughes fan. <laughs> I love John Hughes. So do I. <laughs> Me too. Uh, uh, Basketball Diary is one of the best. Uh, Mark, how you doing? Uh, that scene with his mother is heartbreaking. Basketball Diaries was great. There was a lot of blank man love, too. Like a lot. Oh, yeah. Blank man <laughs> hilarious. Hey, Darwin. <laughs> Haven't seen that, Cody. I love Damon Wayans. You yeah, definitely oh, check it out. Part of my French. Uh, what do we got? Where there's a will, there's a Wayans. <laughs> I feel bad for Cody, but what a trooper. Yeah. Never seen your pick, man. Best beard on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> Made Cody's beard was on point. <laughs> <laughs> Can't argue about that beard. Oh, Rocky, yeah, Pops. Pops is a huge Rocky fan. There might be like a Rocky showdown or something like that. Who's the biggest Rocky fan? Did we lose Hux? Uh, he might be switching to the other computer. Uh, Hux just showed up to show off his signed uh, Stallone stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, John is also a big Rocky fan. There's a lot of Rocky fans. And his homemade oh, yeah. Barbies. <laughs> uh, pineapple juice is great for... Uh, coughing and sore throat oh thank you cody you're winning breakdown poster <laughs> cool as beanie and blank man killing it <laughs> thank you <laughs> uh same tim i haven't seen past five i, I haven't even seen four <laughs> five or three, so yeah i i get a lot of crap for uh the the whole not seeing all the rockies but i will someday Maybe it's that whole I live so close that I just never, I don't know, thought about it. Took a picture with the Rocky statue last year in cool. Philly. Great city to visit. Mm -hmm. So I, I've been to Philly many times, but I've only done the tourist stuff like once. I waited like three hours to see the Liberty Bell. And my God, is that just uh, it disappointing? Like you yeah. wait that long and it's like, really? This is it? This is the Liberty Bell? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, hey, Lowdown. 
Uh, we grew up together. I still haven't watched all of them. Derek was too busy running around with all the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Huck, it's actually 12 <laughs> rounds, Colin says. <laughs> I knew uh, Huck was going to go with Rocky. Hey. A lot of Rocky love. Hey, yo. Y'all you know, good, Huck? That Rocky love, you know? I don't know. <laughs> Huck, you're killing me. <laughs> Mike purses Huck. Ding, ding. <laughs> Although I couldn't um, run it. <laughs> don't whip it out on Tim's channel. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We got to save that for Bob's channel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is Nick throwing shade at a certain YouTuber? Uh, whoa, Dunkirk. Whoa. Dunkirk? Yeah. <clears throat> Trash. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> Love Dunkirk or Hate It is still uh, Nolan's only Best Director nomination. Wow. Uh, Got to get that signed to him. Man, I would love to meet Nolan. I would love it. Good luck. Yeah. Uh, didn't care for Dunkirk. Great cinematography. I, yeah. I loved everything about it. No, no one would put Dunkirk in a top five. <laughs> Me. Just me. I, I have a top five list, but it's a little different for that one. <laughs> oh man, yeah. I that's a, when I was thinking about this whole thing. I'm like, nobody likes Dunkirk as much as me. But I nobody, <laughs> I, honestly. I haven't seen it, so I can't say. I can't judge it if I haven't seen it. Same. First, Tim talks titties. Now trying to whip it out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Huck. That's a Bob stream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, round two. Tony, whip it out. Round two. So, <laughs> round two is another film that probably nobody's ever seen, um, but I have great fond memories of it. It's one of my favorites. It does not have a Blu-ray release either. It had a VHS tape, and it also had a DVD, and it stars Mark Harmon and Jodie Foster. It's called oh. Stealing, Stealing Home. Oh, um, I Nobody's ever heard of I, this one? No, I did. So I just looked that. I was looking at movies from what is that? Is that early 90s? Or 1988. 80, 1988. 88. Yeah, yeah, I ran across that on iTunes, I think. And I watched the trailer and I'm like, this looks really freaking good. It's really I never good. Heard of that. Yeah, and it's got a really good soundtrack. Um, it's, a, it's a coming of age film. Of course, them grown up and it, it kind of does flashbacks throughout the film of. Um, you know, them growing up and falling in love. It's just a really good heartwarming story. Um, it's one that you don't really ever hear about, but it's got an excellent soundtrack. Um, it's also got Helen Hunt in it and Richard Jenkins is in this film, but still in home. Oh. Huck, have you ever seen this one? Huck Frozen? Me, Huck? Uh, no, I'm here. I'm, I'm getting a lot. I think because we just came back online, it's like spotty. Yeah, what what is it? Uh, Stealing Home. Stealing Home. I haven't seen Stealing Home. 1988. Yep. That's a good one. That's so Mike crazy. finally got out of that sweatsuit. Yeah. <laughs> you were looking a little hot over crowd. there. <laughs> How got him heated up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no. That's what home. I do. I just looked up. Actually, I sent my wife a text about Stealing Home. Seriously, like three days ago. It has only a Warner Archive DVD. Do you have the Warner Archive yeah. DVD? I just have the VHS tape still. Uh, I, I don't yeah. buy the DVDs until I, I have to wait for the Blu-ray. If it's, It may not ever get one, but hopefully. Yeah, there's a lot of Warner Archive <laughs> stuff that I think it's just if, if Warner already released it on DVD, I don't. they don't seem to upgrade that often it's it's rare yeah so, and so uh, but it's, a, it's like I, 21 I, bucks i know a lot of people are talking about more mainstream or um more recent films so i, I kind of went backwards and went back to my earlier years and that's kind of what my picks are tonight so there may be some titles i know my next title everybody's heard of but these first two are pretty obscure ones no that's awesome I mean, man that's you know, exactly what what I was hoping for, so uh, I love Tony, that. FYI, and, FYI, Rocky is from 76, so that's well, pretty far know, back. <laughs> but, but everybody's heard of Rocky, right? Right, I know. I know what you're saying. I like your little, it's deep cuts. You're going for the deep cuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nick, what you got? 
All right, so this is going to sound insanely crazy, but I will challenge anybody. I am the biggest Jay-Z fan in the world. And due to that, in 1998, he came out with Streets is Watching, the movie. And Jay-Z is one of those, like what Sylvester Stallone is to Huck. He is just inspirational to know where that man came from, the projects. Um, you know, he did some things to rise, but to gain money. But every record label turned him down with his first album. And then he came back with volume two, which was In My Lifetime, volume one. Um, and then he made this movie. So basically, this movie is a long music video, kind of like what Michael Jackson did with Moonwalker. But this holds something in my heart because I had this on VHS. Somebody stole it, you know, all the house parties we used to throw and all that. So I ended up buying the 10th anniversary DVD because people were asking way too much money for the VHS. But this is inspirational to me. Even now when I put it on, like I said, I think about where Jay-Z came from and what he is now. Granted, I'll never be a billionaire, but this movie just if you've never seen it which i probably probably none of you ever have if you ever see it pick it up it is kind of hard to find but huck's going to all them swap meets you might come across it mm -hmm. yeah I've, I've never heard of that yeah he came out with the movie basically to promote and spit in the face of every record label that turned him down he did it he's a, <clears throat> yeah. He's a billionaire yeah. now. he's a billionaire now right yeah yeah, yeah he's a billionaire and then with his wife, they're probably like a three billion. <laughs> <laughs> well, worked out for no, him. That's good. I get that kind of passion, Nick. You know, when somebody yeah, does like that and it touches you right here, it, it's you know. Goes well, the, the very first time I ever heard him was on a radio station um, for uh, the Bobito show. It was a. Uh, a old school show. My buddy used to record it and then send me the tapes. And the second I heard his voice, it was just something like clicked. And I knew right then and there back when he was even speed rapping that he was going to be the best rapper ever. And ever since then I paid a crackhead to go buy me the album Jesus. out of the store <laughs> because they wouldn't sell it to me. I don't know if anybody knows what strawberries is, but strawberries was a record, uh, company back then that sold you know records vinyls cassettes i had the cassette i had the cd and if they would have had an a track i would have came on i would have bought that one too but they wouldn't even let me buy it because it had that parental uh guidance sticker on his first album and i still have that original first album is scratched to shit but the cd was actually different from the re-release that came out once he signed to uh def uh not def row uh def jam so I still have that original CD with the gun on it. And it's like a blurry image. It's I still have it because I'm just that I have every album. There's not an album I don't own on physical copy, not a documentary. I've got them all when it comes to Jay-Z. That's cool, man. That's actually really cool getting some music thrown in there, too. So oh, I, I have an autographed picture, too. I, while you guys are I'll run and go get it real quick. Yeah, but I have an autographed picture, too. Yeah. Uh, Cody can start going and then you can just show that, too. So hell yeah. Yeah. All right, Cody, you want to go? Yeah. So if you guys, if, if anybody watches my channel, especially my first video, I mentioned this and I try to mention it as much as I can because it's a movie I watched all the time as a kid and it seems to be pushed to the back burner. And when they talk about 90s thrillers, they always talk about single white female. They don't really bring this movie up. So I wanted to bring this movie in because I am the number one fan of mm -hmm. The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. I have it on VHS, DVD, and uh, I've even got a special slip made for the for the uh for the blu-ray oh, cool. made by side hustle cinema because nobody else or you know it wasn't made by the studio so he made it for me that's how big of a fan i am and uh i don't know if this is really cool or really nerdy i think it's really cool but i also have you can't see what it is but it's the uh for the uh it's the theater banner for the hand that rocks the cradle, it says you know comes out February second, nineteen ninety two, something like that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's my birthday. I was ten. Yeah. <laughs> that's sick. That's I, awesome. I love yeah. the the obviously being a poster fan. I love any of that like promotional marketing mm -hmm. stuff. I love that stuff. So that's super cool. Yeah. 
and I have the one sheet of that as well. But I thought this was really, really cool, and I got it from a theater that uh, just closed down in a small town. <laughs> That's actually where I got that one sheet for, for uh, Breakdown as well. So I was very thankful to get them at a good price, yeah. and especially. And uh, I just wish a lot of, more people would talk about the Hand of the Rocks Cradle. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. I like it. It's a, it's a, that's a real good movie. That's yeah. a good movie. Yeah. I still not seen it. I just bought it. What was it on sale for? Like five bucks, like a couple months ago, something like that. Yeah. yeah. I, I I bought it on Amazon. I still didn't get around to that. Yeah. I Definitely check it out. Get around to it. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. Yeah. To me, that's the the best thriller ever made. Damn. Nice. Damn, I might actually watch that before the Rockies and everything. <laughs> that's my that's my signed picture of Jay Z, and I actually had that exact uh, Gucci hat, the bucket hat, uh, when I seen it on him. I went out and bought it. Don't ask me how much I paid for it because it was an authentic Gucci. Um, don't have the hat anymore, but back in the day, uh, I think it was like two thousand. Uh, when- yeah, I had that handle. Don't don't ask how much I paid for it, please. <laughs> Damn. That's all that's awesome. You're that big of a fan though. That's really cool. Oh. <laughs> Whatever happened to that crack kid that bought the um I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but hey, he did, did he, he... Up, did he end up with the Gucci hat? No, no. Uh I just they were like I said, strawberries was so str- I mean, back then they were so strict on those, you know, and when that album came out, I was 15. So, yeah, they were like, oh, we can't show those to you. You need a parent. I said, oh, I need a parent? Okay, hold on. I came back 10 minutes later with a parent. That- <laughs> Dude, I, Nick, I like how you, you don't find a parent or a relative or a brother. No. You just find a crackhead who's like two feet out the door. I'm like, hey, Listen, dad, man, go buy there was always. I know, like, people begging for change on the corner is, like, a new thing to some people, but that shit's been happening since I was a little right. kid, so. When there's a will, there's a way, baby. <laughs> yeah, I was getting that album that day. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Damn. All right, Mike, your turn. You obviously have a shirt to go along with it. Yes, yeah. So mine is an entire character that definitely has some movies, but that's going to be The Punisher, of course. So, of course, I got my Punisher uh, Steelbooks here, one of the best Steelbooks ever made. And I do have Warzone as well. Uh, But The Punisher with Thomas Jane is one of the best uh, movies of all time. It's absolutely amazing. They should have made a sequel. I don't know why, but Thomas Jane, best Punisher for sure. And then uh, definitely got collectibles, got my little plush. I got like a dozen pops of him, but here's one pop right here. And then, of course, I got my uh, first... (laughs) Appearance of oh. the Punisher and the Amazing Spider-Man. Oh, so that goes That's awesome. That's yep. amazing. Mm-hmm. Yep, it literally is amazing. But yeah, my wife got this one as a gift for me, a wedding gift. So yeah, she knew exactly what I wanted. And then of course, I have a lot of other comics too, like second appearance, third appearance, all that good stuff. And then like when I go to conventions, I'll get Punisher stuff too. So I got like a little Punisher frame picture here. So yeah, he's really sad. They're still dead. <laughs> Yep. Uh, but yeah, I'm a massive Punisher fan. My favorite superhero of all time. So anything Punisher, I love. Yep. I love so you actually Punisher. like that second one? Hmm? I really wish. I didn't like that second one, The oh, War. Warzone? Yeah, Warzone. Yeah. Yeah. The first yeah. one I own on 4K. Oh, I, the so Man, that, that one was awesome. Yeah. I wish they would have kept it with him. Mm. They Yeah, they should have definitely done a sequel to it. I still will watch Warzone all the time just because I'm a Punisher fan. But when I saw it in theaters, I was pretty disappointed. Yeah, same here. Okay. Same here. I, I was such a big fan of the first one. Yeah. With the Thomas Jane one, when I saw okay. Warzone, I was like, what the hell am I watching? But now <laughs> when I rewatch Warzone, I'm like, this is actually a pretty badass movie. But I haven't it, seen it since then. Okay. So, yeah. So I watched it. It took me a good 10 years, maybe, after to watch yeah, it again. Kind of keep like, separated yeah, out. yeah. So I had to separate it and give it time. But it's actually a pretty cool movie. But yeah, I wish the they TV were series was good too. Oh, yeah. Um, the TV series Netflix? for both seasons of The Punisher <laughs> and then <laughs> The Punishers and uh, Daredevil as well. That's yes. awesome. Yeah. Even yeah. I'll take the 80s Punisher with. Uh, I was just going to say. Uh, yeah, Doc yeah, London yeah, 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 was a badass when he played Punisher, I thought. But. I mean, he's one of the best actors of all time. I mean, Rocky Four and you know Punisher. I mean, you can't do better than that. So <laughs> you can't. You know, show that first appearance one more time because that's, oh, yeah. that's no joke. That's oh yeah, the coin. Yeah. 
Look at this. That's awesome. That's it is only a point five, so it is a very low rating, but still. Still. still Who cares point. about the rating, dude? You got it. Yeah. So, I've been waiting for the, the longest time to, oh, to get oh, oh, What's a point five mean? It, it's the lowest rating. Uh, so they'll, they'll grade it based on the quality. Like that thing might oh. be missing a lot of the internal yeah. pages. Like there's the, one tear on it in the on here somewhere in the front, so that's what brings it down quite a bit. But that's still pretty badass. Though. Yeah. yeah. So the, the realistic highest grade for the most part you get is nine point eight. A nine point eight is considered like a grail. Uh, nine point nines and tens don't really exist. I don't ever rock cost them. Nine point eight is like amazing and if that in that can condi- if that comic at a 9.8 he'd probably have a ten thousand dollar comic it, it's yeah. crazy well even the point five was fairly expensive still i was pretty surprised yeah. i'm like for a point five i'm like but i guess yeah I'm, I'm gonna say that was probably still a 500 to 700 yeah right around yeah. there yep wow <sighs> awesome. i used to have all those i gave away my entire comic collection that was one of them yeah, I Damn. don't have a lot of comic books, but for the Punisher, I have an okay amount. Yeah, I, I sold all my comic books back in 1992 for $100 just for all of them. And I thought I was yeah. making a big, I thought I made a lot of money that day. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. How, how many long boxes did you sell, Tony? <laughs> a lot. <clears throat> yeah, I had like about 11 and it was I sold them for about $250. Yeah. What, what sucks is, if, yeah, if you had a lot of the that 50 60 70s you probably sold good money uh late 80s into 90s you can have 10 long boxes full and it's mostly trash Mm -hmm. Uh, it's it's all overprinted not even the key issues aren't really worth that much for the most part but uh yeah comics man i follow some comic people and a first issue of amazing spider-man you're looking at like a hundred thousand dollar comic oh yeah easy it's insane. <laughs> What's funny is my buddy Todd actually had that when he was a kid. And same thing. He just, he, he traded it with one of his friends for another comic book. And he said that was like one of the biggest mistakes because he's another huge comic book collector. He still has them in his attic, but it's crazy. He, he said he at one time had that in his possession. And, you know, when you're a kid, you don't, you don't know, yeah. you know, so yeah, that's crazy. Some grown ups that's, that's an awesome gift, though. That's an awesome gift. Oh, yeah, Dwight that definitely like knows you. Wedding gift ever. I'm like, yes, amazing. Anna did a great job. <laughs> that's incredible. All right, Huck, you have to somehow follow that up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, the Punisher. <laughs> well, <Right> Mike, <laughs> it, Mike, it's like we're sorry. My all my lights went off too. So, uh, it's like we're in the same zone because I went and changed my hat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> to superheroes as well. And um, I'm going to tell you all why I'm the biggest freaking Superman, the movie fan there is <laughs> on the planet Earth. And, 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 so we got that one, of course. We got the two-pack because I was back in the day. I remember when they released Superman on TV. It was a two-hour, two-night event. Uh, and I recorded it on my uh, VCR at the time. Uh, I got the DVD. It's signed by Richard Donner and uh, uh, Tom Mankiewicz. Oh, wow. uh, that's cool they were signing at one of the things of course got the the blu-ray box set but you know it's not just that it doesn't stop there y'all oh yeah the doll the dolls <laughs> keep coming <Yeah. laughs> so this let me tell you about this hold on there's a story here so this after superman came out mega was the big toy company back in the day for, for yeah. boys right and this was the 12 inch one they put out after the movie so this is supposed to be the christopher reeve figure and this is the same one this is the one i grew up with like he's still in great shape cape is in dope condition uh there's no box or anything like that but you know still got the, the superman fig y'all and then uh when i was uh, going to the theater they were just handing these out for free to promote the movie and this is one of my cherished items right here this is the superman the movie um uh program so you, you got this oh, when you were awesome. into the movie wow so let me just give you a taste of this thing. Look how pretty. And I've, I've kept it in the best shape I could possibly do. Uh, and when you check it out, it gives you like breakdown uh, of the actors in it, cool photos, stuff like that, all kinds of good stuff. So this was like handed out at, at cinemas. So has, super has, has that ever been reprinted in any books before? Or is that the only way to? 
Yeah. Not that I've I've ever seen. You can look for it like on eBay and stuff like that. A lot of you know people selling these. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen the contents of this um, re redone. And I just love you know a lot, a lot of these promotional shots of Chris. You know, and this is just one of my favorite shots ever is when he's coming out of the, you know, yeah. lair, the Luther's lair right there. Yeah, and awesome. uh, and and because I'm a huge collector of these kind of things. I love lobby cards. So I have a, a complete set of Superman, the movie lobby cards. Oh my and, God. Uh, yeah. In fact, on the back side of this, I also have uh, Batman, <laughs> but I have, oh, uh, so, so they're, I they're Batman. Batman. yeah, so it's two full sets right here. Uh, it's um, eight, eight uh, lobby cards and they're just phenomenal. You know, I love these things. They're, they're the, they're the things that were hanging on the wall when you went in to get y'all fired up for the movie, you know? So you know, and there's only going to be seven here because one's hanging up in my office. There's that one there. Er, Lois and Perry. Uh, there's the car going down. I want to uh, come take these. <laughs> yeah, and then there he is at the lair. And, uh, and then one of the great promotional shots right there. And then the other one is, oh, there's one more. Lois. Those guys there. Is that the last one? Yeah. And then that's just, uh, th this isn't a lobby car, but it's another one. So the one where he's actually on the railroad track, you know, he takes his arm and he bends up the railroad track and then he lays his head down. That's that's the eighth one. And that one's hanging up in the office. So there you go. So just, just a huge Superman fan. I, I feel like Christopher Reeve, you know, the, the one word that Richard Donner had for this film was verisimilitude, which is honesty and um, and Chris wanted to play the character with honesty and verisimilitude. And that's why it's funny because people are kind of goofy in the movie. Like Ned Beatty is absolutely in an acting in another movie. He's so ham, you know, ham dog, you know, uh, and even Lex is a bit hammy, but Chris is extremely real and believable. Mm -hmm. And I think it's that kind of performance to me that's affected all the other performances you see like in Marvel and DC today. I mean, Chris is just the OG Superman. So for me, they all get to be compared to um, to this guy. Yeah, I, I like those Mego figures. Those were I used to have all the Mego figures, and yeah. people don't realize what a big deal Superman was when that came out. How the special effects and everything was just amazing back then. Oh yeah, how they got him to fly was a whole okay. new. They had to figure out how to do it. Yeah, look oh. at that. The jumbo, oh. the jumbo still. Oh bullet. damn! God, Tony. Oh, that's, that's so nice. Awesome. Yeah. Oh wow. I love Superman. <laughs> the Christopher Reeve Superman was tops for me. I he was one of my favorites. Yeah, that's why I always tell people when you know I say it all the time on my channel, when you watch a movie, you have to put your mindset back into that time because for that time, that CGI, you know, those special effects, those practical effects, mm -hmm. they were so mind blowing at the time. And I hate when people say Oh, I watched Star Wars and the, I could see all the fakes. Dude, for that time, that was mind-blowing. Yeah. George Lucas was doing things that nobody was thinking about doing. So when I first seen Superman, especially when I was a kid and my dad, me and my dad watched it, and then he had the surround sound. Oh, my God. It was, it was mind-blowing to me. So I know what you guys are saying. I yeah. wish I would have seen it in the theater, but I wasn't born yet. So, <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, you watch something like War of the Worlds, the original, you'll actually see like the strings still hanging down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, like um, uh, Creature of the Black Lagoon, you can see his zipper in yeah. the back of the costume. But it's like you, you, you have to go back and look at the, you know, that time period. It was just so like mind blowing. You know, I hate when people try to compare the movies to now and it's like of course now you got everything i can edit everything from my phone you know what i mean so I, I just hate when people say oh that movie was horrible the cgi was horrible think about it back in those days like when tony saw it huck saw it mm -hmm. that must have been absolutely mind-blowing at that well, time well my, my thing too is superman's always been my favorite character a lot of people love on batman you know you don't get a mm -hmm. lot of people admittedly loving on superman and i always have and so to see chris bring that to life that was just like a you know my little kid in me just just exploding yeah. in joy in fact it was that and star wars were the two films i saw so much. i saw superman seven and a half times in the theater and the reason i saw it a half time was because 
later on, Rocky II was showing in another cinema, another auditorium. And I just asked them, can I stay in here and watch Superman until that starts? And they said, I used sure. to do that too. I did that yeah. too. Yeah. And yeah, it was so nice. In fact, like the, the part I left is, when he, yeah. is when he turned into Superman and he flies out of the fortress for the first time. That's yeah. where I stopped. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm a big Superman yeah. fan too. I actually got a Superman tattoo on my upper arm back in 1995. Yeah, dude, yeah. that's so okay. funny because if I can get two tattoos, it was going to be a Superman thing here and a Star Trek thing here. <laughs> oh, I've done cool. that. <laughs> but if I do, that's what I'm. That's what I'm getting. Oh, uh, that's gonna be hard to follow up, Superman. Are you getting that 4K uh, 10, the whole Steelbook set? Oh uh, yeah, I've already pre-ordered it. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, one. Know, see, yeah. Game, I think Mike, you'll beat me on Rocky, but I'm going to pick up that Superman ten. <laughs> that, oh yeah, yeah. Those, you got it. You you whip tons of stuff out for that one. I mean, twelve inches. That's pretty big. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was a big one. I mean, mine wasn't. I, that, look, you got to crack out the twelve mine, inches. It's a big tip, but the rest is, you know. All right. Look, look uh, you, you, yours is girthier. Mine's longer. <laughs> this is Bob Street. All right, why, why did I start this? <laughs> Should I be busting out my costumes <laughs> now? I have costumes to go with it. There so. it is. Yeah, yeah. Show that again. Oh, yeah. There we go. Halloween costume. Gotta have it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't worry, I got more costumes. <laughs> oh, holy cow! All right, so I'm gonna go with my number two. Uh, I don't want to move the screen up. Uh, I, I'll end up unplugging things. But up up there, I have Audrey Hepburn statues. I'm a huge Audrey Hepburn fan. And a lot of people would probably say like Breakfast at Tiffany's or My Fair Lady or something as their favorite. And I, they're great movies. I love them. But my favorite of hers, which is wildly underrated, is Wait Until Dark. I freaking love this movie so much. This is one of the best thrillers i mean i have to see hand that rocked the cradle now after cody talked it up but uh this is a phenomenal thriller uh it was so scary back then like they actually fully shut the lights off in the theater and they had to put like a warning on the poster which you'll be seeing the poster but i just recently even got in this mm -hmm. uh this is a custom uh readful things just does one of one customs it's marked on the back it's a one of one uh, no one else in the world has this Nice. I paid stupid money. I uh, this I paid one hundred and seventy seven dollars. No, uh, yeah. So I, I I love this movie. I'll uh, <laughs> just say it. I paid stupid money for it, but again, it's a one of one custom. And then, of course, I have once I get it off the floor, an original one sheet. Oh my god! Now oh you're my. talking. Yeah, uh, I had to have this. Had to. That's a pretty good shape too, for a '60s movie. It's in pretty good shape. The poster. So, I freaking adore. Wait until dark. Uh, anyone in this see that movie yet? Yes. No. Nope. I, I like the movie too, but that one of one action figure is pretty cool. Yeah, I, my wife actually wasn't as mad as I thought she would be, probably because of the fact that it, it is a one of one. Like, if this was a just a toy that is rare, but there's a lot of them out there, at least I wouldn't have spent that. But I mean, there's no one else in the I, no other Wait Until Dark fan has this. Yeah. I could say that. And if they do, someone's in trouble, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah <definitely>. Too bad <laughs> it wasn't 12 <laughs> inches, Tim. <laughs> God. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. For posability and put it on the shelf. Like, oh, come on, guys. What do you oh my God. Come on. Oh my lord. Uh, oh, stealing my. all the fish. That's right. <laughs> fish has got my back on these old films. I, I love how when Mike shuts off the camera, his avatar looks like Eminem. Mm, I'm delicious. Uh, Tony's such a great pick, bringing out such an underrated gem. Yes. Yeah. Thank what you. I when I read the synopsis of that, though, it sounds like it's one of those like heart-touching moments or movies. Yeah. The soundtrack's awesome too. The Eminem people are gonna go for my <laughs> stealing home. Great pick. Uh, I don't know who that is, Laura. I don't know who that that is. Uh, do you have the DVD for Stealing Home, mm -hmm. Tony? I don't know. <laughs> do you have the? <laughs> 
what uh i think that's about uh the streets is watching yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, i don't know who that nugget i don't know who chicken nugget is i don't, I don't know <laughs> yeah uh i don't think nick is going to challenge anyone on that pick no i i, no. I think nick is is number one there <laughs> Sad is, to say. <laughs> it's the purpose of this though you brought something that i don't think anyone else can challenge you on that that's awesome Adrian. round one we had two people challenging each other for rocky <laughs> rocky <laughs> supremacy <clears throat> there's no clear uh, winner there either so no no, no. <laughs> right but that, that signed one sheet though man i'm i'm such a poster sucker and yeah <laughs> You like posters, Tim? I, I didn't even know I, that. Sort of. You should put those <laughs> on your hand. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Cody has such similar taste in movies that I do. All he's pulling hidden gems. Oh, my God, Tim. Watch The Hand That Rocks the Cradles t- tonight. Jeez, you're giving me a lot of credit. I work today, too. Uh, but I, how about I will watch that tomorrow? Because I, I have heard good things in... Cody saying it's one of the best thrillers. I, I should check that out. I love thrillers. I showed my wife Double Jeopardy for the first time when that 4K came out. She loved it. Oh, yeah, it's good. Such a great movie. Dolph, a lot of Dolph Lundgren, Punisher. Yeah, I want the uh, Punisher 80s one, but it goes for so expensive, and I don't even think it's a U.S. release. Unless somebody uh, knows uh, of one. Uh, it's a uh, you talking about the DVD for the original Punisher? No, like a Blu-ray. Oh, Blu-ray. I was trying to find oh. a Blu-ray, but it oh, looked. Okay. Yeah, I was like, I, I have, have the DVD. DVD. I got a, I got at Walgreens for five dollars. Yeah, still upset. Yeah, Umbrella Entertainment does the Blu-ray though for uh, for Punisher, the '80s one. I have it. It's uh, wherever I put my Umbrella Entertainment. I can't think wh- what shelf that's on right now. You know, yeah, it needs a region oh. three player then, right? Um, no, but you umbrella, got a lot of, a lot of umbrella is uh, not region locked. Like oh my god, it. that's dull. <laughs> yeah. Oh my Whoa. gosh, that's beautiful. They that made a Steelbert for there. Dolph Lundgren's Punisher. Oh my gosh, that's I amazing. want that. They did. Oh my. We should have asked Tony that from the beginning. We knew we had it. <laughs> oh my god. I think Mike's head oh just god. exploded. I know. I, I know. know. Mike, you gonna be okay? We need to call you an ambulance. <laughs> Now I know it exists out there. Now I'm going to be like, oh, why don't He's I? He's going to headhunt it. <laughs> Huck, what do you do with all your lobby cards? Well, I I collect them. I have them in a box right now just because, I mean, I don't really have wall space, but, you know, I I just love lobby cards. I, I have like, I don't know, 10 or 15 different movies of lobby cards. They just uh, are such a great piece of cinema. And man, when I went to that Hollywood thing with Henry Winkler last month, there was a mm-hmm. whole thing with just lobby cards, lobby cards, lobby cards. And they were like, ching. But yeah. So I'm going to hang on to them for as long as I can. Read Betamax tapes. Betamax. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm all right. Although, you know, I, I would love that old clamshell of Superman the movie. Remember that one? Tony is all red. You know, the big old clamshell of Superman the movie. Yeah. I remember written the hell out and of that. The late, there's a laser disc, too, with a nice artwork. I, dude, I had that one, too. I sold that when I dumped all. But, and, you know, no. those things were so expensive. Yeah. And I don't know. Well, probably not even more. Red Pack is having a stream right now. So, hope she's having a good stream also. <laughs> So, yeah, a, a lot of uh, a lot of Gus love. Gus is awesome. Yeah, there Gus was like awesome. fifteen comments for Gus. <laughs> uh, see you on the Rad Pack. Uh, Tony is full of secrets. Yeah, man, look at that. Are you ever gonna show us that tattoo, Tony? What the hell did I walk into? That's probably talking about whipping out the twelve inch and yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is girthier. Mine's longer. You know, good stuff. Why y'all saying this is my stream? <laughs> Because you know, Bob, Bob that's where that's a where a twin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and hi, Adam. <clears throat> Wait till dark is amazing. Thank you again for no problem, John. Seriously, I, I will. If anyone really wants to see that and doesn't have it, I will actually buy you a copy of the people in the stream, not everybody, because 
but, but <laughs> you heard what he said. He said everybody. So let's, let's start You're packing get, it like, on. Thousands of Instagram messages <laughs> right now. <laughs> I've, ne- I, I've never seen that. I, I would truthfully watch. It. Is it on any streaming service? I don't know. Uh, that's a good question. I don't. I'll, to, I'll have to look at that. I don't. Yeah, feel I definitely like want to check it out. But, I, I love spoilers. Uh, Audrey <laughs> doesn't play her typical type of role. It is a uh, way different for her. And she does a great job playing a blind woman because a lot of times, I don't know if you notice, actors that can see when they're playing blind, they'll sometimes make that eye connection because it's hard to not do that. You know what I mean? She's actually really good at playing blind. That's why. uh, She doesn't put the glasses on for like most of the movie. Oh, that's why I loved Al Pacino in Scent of a Woman playing the blind man. Like you, you, you really thought he was blind. He never once like looked i mean it was crazy yeah it, it, that's that's hard to do like not make any yeah like, how did ken yeah. so ken okay. came in later so he didn't know that uh there's now another trio coming for mid evolution <laughs> and rat pack right. and everything else hang in there tony it's coming. I, i'm 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 sorry guys you know i'll still represent y'all but i'm the fourth honorable member so <laughs> I, the, the rat pack is always going to be right here <laughs> Same with Cody. Cody's an honorable member too. Yep. Uh, I do have the Arrow release of the apartment. I wasn't gonna get rid of it just because I love the artwork and the movie's amazing. Uh, what more Ken? Uh, what? F- oh, that's just Monkey asking Ken. So, all right, let's hop into round three. Fight. <laughs> all right, Tony. <laughs> go, go for it, Tony. So my round three is from 1994. It's got Meryl Streep in it. It's got Kevin Bacon in it. Kevin Bacon, of course, playing a bad guy is always a good film. And that is for The River Wild. Um, This is another Uh, favorite of mine. Um, I grew up, I I still live in North Georgia. We we go whitewater rafting all the time. So this right here, this and um, Deliverance, unfortunately. Uh, Deliverance. The movies that come to my mind when I think of (laughs) white. water rafting but this right here is a really good film it's a it's a thriller on water and if you've never seen that one i would highly recommend you check that one out fish yes. agrees with you yes yep yeah. Yeah. Fish is <laughs> it needs a blu-ray release hey hey tony yes sir you got a purr in mouth <laughs> <laughs> hey, tony Thank tony you. the uh your banjos the director of that movie, he did the Hand the Rocks of Cradle before it, Curtis. Oh, Hansen. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it that's a good thriller as well. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a while, but I remember that one. I highly recommend it. Really cool picks, though, by by Tony, because I I think I am gonna just end up buying that Warner Archive for Stealing Home. That's that one's the one that really, yeah, yeah I'm gonna buy, I might buy that tonight after the stream. <laughs> And I guess I would have to buy Nick a copy of Wait Until Dark if you can't find it in streaming because you have to see it. I'll let you know. <laughs> Me too. Uh, Nick. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Everyone on the stream copies of Wait Until Dark. Yeah, Tim's gonna have uh, to sell that. Tim's gonna have to sell that one hundred and seventy dollar action figure <laughs> of Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> for everybody a copy. You will never Any leave. Me. <laughs> yeah. All right, Nick, your turn. All right, so this is the one movie that actually made me cry, but it it's such a powerful movie. Um, I haven't, I I didn't see it in years, and then my wife recently bought it for me again, and it's just so emotional. It's a roller coaster of a ride, but it really actually shows um, a lot to do with the misconception of AIDS um, and HIV, things like that, and that is the cure. This movie is super powerful. Um, the acting has a little, I mean, you know, they're kids, but, um, uh, what is his name? Um, John, uh, uh, Joe, uh, Joseph. I also loved him in that movie radio, uh, radio flyer. Um, I know you got the poster for that, Tim. So I'm going to steal it when I come to your house. Um, (laughs) but this movie just shows like one kid in like how the whole town is afraid of this one kid because he has AIDS and they get the misconception that it's airborne and they can catch it, you know, you know, not realizing that it has to be like blood and blood. So this movie is just super powerful, made me cry. And I rewatched it again, just to make sure I wanted to 
pick this one today and my eyes still watered up. You know, it's just, it's a very hard movie to watch, but also just powerful, caring, loving, and it's just fantastic. If you don't have this, I suggest you go pick it up. This is a Mill Creek release, so it's not expensive. I think my wife paid like $8 for this. So super powerful movie, highly recommended if you don't have it or never seen it. Yeah, that also comes highly recommended for Bob. He's told me several times that I have to get around to watching that. Oh my God, I cried. So I never knew what it was about, but that look that sounds amazing. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, and the and I mean the whole town, like the way they look at him, and the the mom, she is a bitch. the The kid that friends the kid with AIDS, the mother is a straight up bitch. It, it's it's super crazy. The uh the the main kid too. He's from a little known movie called Jurassic Park. Mm-hmm. He's also yes. a child. Yes. Yeah, you know, that that just dawned on me that, that, yeah, he is. But Radio Flower is also my other favorite movie from him. When he was a kid, he was he was awesome. His acting was really awesome, especially playing a kid that had AIDS. And he really plays it off well when he's coughing, when he's walking around. He even looks like he's he's sick. It's just a real powerful movie. So, Cody, uh, Tim, if you watch it, if you don't cry, I don't know. I mean, I might ask where your emotions are, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, I, I, I think it's very sure. powerful. I think for sure I'm going to buy the Kira. And what was the uh, a, a Wait Till Dark? Uh, wait Until Dark. Wait Until Dark. I think I'm going to buy those yeah. as soon as the stream is over. I'm going to buy those too. Yeah. Those I, great. I have the Kira and Hand That Rocks the Cradle, so those might be watches tomorrow. So And, to- and I think Tony said it, but yeah, that's the same kid from uh, The River Wild, right? It is, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, he's getting around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now makes great talking. movies. <laughs> Even uh, did you guys watch the Pacific? He was in the Pacific, the TV show that was the follow up to Band of Brothers. Yeah, no. yeah, he, he was one of the leads of that. Really good. But all right, Cody, what you got? Right. So my last one, uh, I thought about doing Chill Factor, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but instead, I thought I'd do what I have the one sheet of is Breakdown. Yeah, I got when I was a kid living in the nineties. I got a VHS and a, a TV for my room. And when you're a kid and you get a VHS player, a, a VCR and a TV in your room, it's life changing. And that's, you think you're so cool. And anyways, I got two VHSs that came with it. One was uh, cliffhanger and the other one was breakdown. So I watched those movies over and over again, but today I want to talk about breakdown because it's one of my favorite movies. I watch it at least once a year. I have it on VHS I also have it on imprint, Blu-ray. I have it on DVD. I have this release of it as well. And not only do I have the one sheet of it, but I also have my notebook. Is oh, breakdown. damn. So I, I, do all my, I do all my notes in there. And even my refrigerator reps it. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Yeah. So yeah, Breakdown, one of my... That's... I, I love that movie. I love he's he's just like an everyday guy, and that's what you like. Like when you watch a Stallone in a Schwarzenegger movie, you're like, oh, okay, when he catches these bad guys, you know what's gonna happen. He's gonna, you know, kick their ass. But when you watch Breakdown, and you're like, okay, when Kurt Russell catches these bad guys, what is he gonna do? Because you know, he's just the everyday man. And you put yourself in your that position and you're just like, Man, what would I do? And whenever I'm at a truck stop or anything like that, I always think about that. I'm always looking around too. I was like, I hope she doesn't get taken. I hope, you know, yeah. you know, just like stuff like that. And I've always wanted to make a movie similar to that. It just, I've always loved this movie. I watch it all the time. So earlier there was the, uh, the back and forth. Who's the bigger Rocky fan. I, so I actually had these prepped and ready along with all nice. the, uh, there goes. the one sheet also. But I do not have a notebook, nor do I have a magnet, so I will concede hmm. the number one to you, Cody. <laughs> I also, for filming, because I'm, I'm a filmmaker, so uh, I have the license plate as well. So oh. whenever I, so whenever I film movies, I put the license plate on the back of the vehicle if the plate's going to be shown. So I'll, I'll put the, I'll put that license plate on there. That's awesome. You, you got me beat. You can have number one. I'll take number two. <laughs> Cody, was oh, yeah, that the Cody. plate that was? Well, that was that the plate that was on his car. 
on play. Kurt that's Russell. not his car. Yeah, Kurt Russell's yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little Hollywood yeah, plate. It, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like one of those things that you have to pause it to even see the plate. But I needed a plate to put on a car. I didn't want yeah. any other. I was like, all right, I'm going to take the breakdown plate. Yeah, and that's what I Dude, did. that is such a great movie. That's a great pick, dude. Yeah. I mean, yeah. bravo. Yeah, so- so you waited then it took 15 years to hit Blu-ray for that movie. So uh-huh. you brought you imported this immediately, right? Oh, immediately, immediately yeah. I got oh, it. Yeah. yeah I, I spent like Amazon had it. So our US Amazon, and I spent like forty two dollars to get this thing. Mm-hmm. And I swear, what was it like it was. a yeah. month later? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was very quick because I was waiting for that to go on sale, the imprint. And by the time like that the other one was announced, I'm like, oh. I'll just wait. Yeah. I would, yeah. I, this poster is badass, though. For the, yeah, it's very cool. But I'm yeah. sure it's gonna come to 4K, and I'll buy it on 4K. The cool thing about this, for some reason, when I do watch it, I've been watching it on this one. I haven't watched this version yet. I think the last time I watched it was on a uh, streaming site. But uh, this one is pretty cool. They have an alternate uh, opening where he's like working with the camera crew on like a on like uh, some kind of like war zone so if you guys get a chance watch the alternate opening it's like a 10 minute opening so it's a uh, it's pretty cool yeah i haven't checked out the paramount one either yet this is the one i've watched this is gorgeous though like mm-hmm. it, it looks stunning so is that on blue that's on blue ray yeah, blue ray i'm about I'm to pick that up because I, I don't think i i don't have the passion you guys have to buy it on 4k but i'll pick up that blue ray it doesn't have a 4k yet it yeah. Yo, it's, it's, gonna, it's, it's probably gonna get it though yeah it's very cheap on uh on uh dvd like five dollars so you could probably get it walmart for five dollars if you want to do that yeah that's a killer pick uh yeah i love that yeah. one obviously or if you don't have it tim's gonna buy everybody one yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's only with this and not everybody just the stream I, I would I'd get a whole bunch of DMs like here's here's my address please ship me wait until dark. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, Mike, what you got? All right, so I wonder what I'm gonna pick. So a whole entire franchise here. So Mortal Kombat, of course. If I were to get a tattoo, but I'm not a tattoo person, it would be the Mortal Kombat symbol right here. That's how much I love Mortal Kombat. Before I was a movie fan, I was just a Mortal Kombat franchise fan. So I know we were talking about uh, big swords this uh, stream. So I got my Sub-Zero sword, right? I'm ready for a sword (laughs) fight. That goes along with my uh, costume, of course. My Halloween costume got on my Sub-Zero. Of course, I got all the physical media stuff. So the 95 movie, one of the best movies of all time. Still the best Mortal Kombat. Annihilation, I can still have fun with. Uh, The new movie sucks, but I watch it all the time because I love Mortal Kombat. (laughs) Uh, the web series, very underrated. If you have not seen the web series, make sure you check these out. They're amazing, way better than the last movie. And then, of course, I have all the animated features, one of the best animated movies of all time, Scorpion's Revenge. And then, of course, I got Battle of the Realms. And then, of course, I got uh, Sword uh, Snowblind. That was the last one. I got tons of Funko Pops, but I'm just going to show one. This is my Chase Scorpion. Uh, then I got all the games too, and they're back there. But even like uh, Sub Zero Mythologies, I have that as well. Uh, let me go to my autograph. So I went to Combat Con a handful of years ago. But, yeah, oh, yeah. I met, yeah, I, I met all the actors of the first three games and got all their signatures. It was a uh, Shao Kahn's birthday that day, so they brought him a cake. So yeah, I literally have everything there. And then not only that, I also got pictures with them, of course. So I got my own little photo album as well. So like all the pictures with the actors and stuff, they're pretty blurry now, but I got signatures with all of them. So yeah. And I got tons of uh, posters and artwork signed, but those are more valuable. So those are on the wall still. Oh, and I got a statue, of course. Got my statue. This one's pretty big, a scorpion. Yeah. And then I have all the games, of course, like I said. So, yeah, everything from even, you know, the PlayStation days one to up. Yeah, that was impressive. Uh, mm-hmm. So Vinicio wants to challenge you on that. But Vinicio, now that he showed everything, do you still want to take the challenge? That was Got uh, my costume ready. 
That was impressive. That was a lot. It was a lot. When that first Mortal Kombat movie came out, like when you were a kid, like that oh, was that was oh, awesome. I love it. Dude, I used to. Oh, good. I don't know if I should admit this, but I used to wear my mom's pantyhose around her <laughs> face. Yeah. Every ten hours, sub zero. And I used to be like Mortal Kombat, and I'd run around yeah. the house. And, and I, used to, I used to grab a long sleeve t shirt and then just like go like this and like tie the t shirt around just to be like a ninja. Oh my oh, god. Yeah, I would like, be running around doing Mortal Kombat moves and all mm -hmm. of that. And uh, Raptile is my favorite character. So when Raptile showed up in that movie, like, ooh, ah, so good. Yeah. Sub Zero was favorite. always my favorite, but I got a Mortal Kombat. I'm more of a Tekken guy now. So blasphemy. you hurt Mike's feelings. Right now. <laughs> this is blasphemy. <laughs> what is this? I have some what? Tekken games too. I have what? some Street Fighter Tekken. games. Tek uh, Tekken. Uh, Mortal Kombat is the fighting game. I mean, no, it, it no, Tekken the, is uh, the fighting game. It, it spawned the M rating. I mean, parents were afraid to let their kids go to arcades and play it. So, yeah, I know like all the Mortal Kombat history and stuff. Like, That's I awesome. watched everything. Mortal I Kombat. wish, <laughs> I wish my buddy was on this stream because he's actually a tournament champion of Mortal Kombat Two. He won the Final Fantasy round. Oh, yeah. He can beat me um, for sure. I'm only decent. yeah. He he's actually he'll actually challenge you to hit him once. Oh yeah, yeah. If you let him use sure. Scorpion. He is nasty. I've never seen a dude so dedicated to Mortal Kombat 2 in my life. Yeah. Oh, Mortal gosh. Kombat 9 is my favorite one out of the franchise, though. Still What's the one that had a... Uh, I still have 10. I had, like, Freddy Krueger in it. Is that the I one? Mortal Kombat 9. Freddy Krueger. It is? All right, yeah, in that one. That's the best. My, yeah. my son, my son, my oldest, my 21-year-old loves that one. Mm, it's so good. Yeah, because yeah, it's got Freddy and all that stuff. Yeah. My, my thumbs don't take video games very well anymore. So oh, no, I, I have an arcade stick. I have a Tekken arcade stick. That's how I play. I can't do it when I'm too old for that shit now. Yeah, yeah it, I, My hands start hurting like 10 yeah. minutes in. Yeah, I got uh, the whole joystick and everything. Yeah, I haven't played in a while just with all the movie stuff, but that would be like a console seller for me. When Mortal Kombat 12 come out, that's like, mm, now I got to get a PS5 or something just for that. <laughs> I haven't played Tekken in a while because I got a bet going with a buddy who just started it. I gave him five months. If he could whoop my ass with his main character, I have to pay him $50. And if he beats me, I get to pick out whatever movie I want. And he has to send it to me. So mm -hmm. I'm going to whoop his ass and get my movie. <laughs> All right, Huck. What you got for your your last choice here, Mike? It's interesting that you you picked that. Um, what the Mortal you Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I swear, it's like we're in this little thing. No, like when I was, uh, you can go a, a back full frame for a second. Okay. All right. Um, I was when I was um, editing at this place. I did a lot of actors demos, and three of the actors from Mortal Kombat came in. So I got to work with uh, Carrie Tagawa, that was Shang Tsung, mm, Robin Shu. Oh, and yeah. uh, the guy that played reptile. <laughs> mm, so all of those people came weird. in. I got to edit their stuff. And, and you know, Robin Shu was also in um, Beverly Hills Ninja with uh, Chris Farley. There's a movie that's not on Blu-ray either. Oh, that's a great right? movie too. Yeah. That's a fun movie. Yeah. And so, yeah, that's, that's when I met Robin was on the set of that. So, yeah, anyway. I didn't meet any of the movie actors. I only met the video game actor. So nice. All right, but again, so we're in this zone now. Now you can go. Here we go. So what's on this? Oh, I got another hat too. There it is. And of course, we're sporting it. Hold on, <laughs> Mike. Did we just coordinate getting like clothes and hats all night. <laughs> I was almost so, going to put on my costumes, but I thought that would be too much. <laughs> dude, I totally forgot. I, my wife even goes, "You have a costume you can put on, right?" I'm like, "I was in such a rush, I forgot." Um, <laughs> I got so much stuff. I couldn't even fit it around me. Uh, but th the reason we're going to start, we're going to start with this because it's going to backdate. Just like your little Mortal Kombat thing, this is about to happen right here. Um, so we're going to shoot with Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. Because when Wrath of Khan came around, y'all, this was like the tricky nerd inside me was finally like the motion picture was just not, it was awesome. Like, because it was a bigger film than this, but it was sort of lacking that the essence that the show had. So when this one came around, the, the cast got back into the groove. It was an epic tale. You brought back this guy, Ricardo Montalban. Like, check it out. It's Khan, y'all. Um, and Montalban was so great. And so, you know, look, even, even my movie opener, AKA letter opener is a Klingon knife. 
That's right? cool. That's how I zip open all my movies. I just use the Klingon knife. Uh, you know, and then the swag just keeps going, you know, look, and then it turns into the epic love for all the movies. <laughs> I love how you did that. Got, look, and the reason I got all these is because they, they went back to the original posters for each and every one of these. So yeah, I could have saved maybe a few bucks by getting the, the thing, but I'm such a fan, you know, Tim poster guys, right? Yes. When, when I saw these and it's just so slick looking, had to go for broke on that. Uh, and then my wife for Christmas, I'm like, yeah, you know, let's let's really seal the deal. She picked up the motion picture of director's edition uh, when it was on the sale. And then, guys, it all back dates to this. You got the TV show, season one, season two. <laughs> then there it is, one, two, and three. Even got the animated Star Trek right here. Look at this thing. Hang on, just dropping movies. <laughs> so yeah, my my love for Star Trek just goes way way back. And, uh, you know, it's something I grew up with. One of my best friends uh, growing up, he was also a Star Trek fan. So we just had that to, to bond with and relate to. It's sort of like, you know, those nerds when you're growing up and you got the D&D, &D, right? So you got them and then we got Star Trek. See, nowadays everyone talks about Star Trek, Star Wars, and it's cool. Like everyone's like, yeah, I, I've always been cool with that. I'm like, have you though? You know, because <laughs> uh, I have, you know. And, uh, and yeah, so it just, and it just rolls into like the next generation. And now, you know, we're, we're fans of, you know, it just keeps oh, going. Like, Tony. Oh yeah. Tony. Yeah. Yeah. See now oh, if I had, uh, if I had what I call Tony money, I would have all of those. Oh but my I don't gosh. Have. Yeah. Tony do, it, Tony. I'm buying for you. do what I can't do. I'm going to live vicariously through you right now. <laughs> I only have See? insurrection. That's the only one of I love, those I have. I love the old artwork. Are, I love it, Tony. These are all the original posters. My Do you have the tin? Do you have the tin that they came in? Um, these did not come with the tin. They're not the tin. Okay, there's the yeah. Keep them coming, man. Let me. Jeez. Yeah, this is so great. And then I'm super. One hundred percent, Huck would be the fan. This is just me buying because I wanted the set. Oh, that's I, beautiful, Tony. I'm not a big. I'm not a big Star Trek fan. I'm more Star Wars. But I did have to have that, those still books when they came out. Those, those have been out of several years now. Oh yeah, those are gorgeous, and I'm I'm excited that they're finally putting the next generation four movies out. On the you, have, you can have yeah. these whenever I pass away. I'll let my wife know. Ah! <laughs> 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 then these have to outlive you. Great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, then I'll man. stop all my tech and fighting in the alley with Nick. Just to make sure I can live to own those. You tell you what that challenge. I mean, no, I log on. I, I do not. <laughs> My king, I wouldn't want that. How can I follow up pulling out so much stuff? And my next choice, I don't have very much stuff for. But yeah, I need awesome. just to think about it. I didn't have anything to pull on my picks, but I had to pull on some yeah, yeah. picks. <laughs> You're doing great, Tony. Hey, nobody pulls streets is watching though. That's true. That is true. All right. So as a thriller fan, uh, Cody, you I imagine you saw this, a 90s thriller, but I freaking love Arlington Road. I have multiple VHS for it for some reason. Have you you haven't seen Arlington Road? No, uh, I'm not, but and I, I've never even heard of it until recently. Oh man. But I do yeah, want to see it. It doesn't get talked about much at all, but it, it is basically uh, Jeff Bridges' character moves in neighbors to Tim Robbins' character and starts suspecting that he's a terrorist. And it's just a whole movie about like paranoia and it it's damn good. I mean, it was, mm -hmm. I can't say much without giving anything away, but it is a really good thriller. It looks like Tony's seen it. Yes, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's I've, good. I've never yeah, seen it. Just tape. It's out of print though, isn't it, Tim? That that Blu-ray? Is this? I don't know. I, uh, so I mean, it's pretty because old. I, as soon as I heard what it was, I, I immediately looked up, and I can only find it on DVD for like twenty five. So it's sitting in my cart still. Ah, uh, it's a it's a badass movie. It looks great. It's not one of those. Uh, I mean, when you know the ending, it's it takes a little away from the rewatches, but it's still so good. The uh, the performances by both. The, I mean, Tim Robbins, Jeff Bridges are mm -hmm. great, anyways, but really good. Like paranoia going on no one's believing him on what he's saying it's so freaking good so that that's my my backup to breakdown i was gonna pick breakdown but you are number one on breakdown so arlington road <laughs> so 
we'll make one last run through the comments here. And does anyone have anything that just missed that they want to mention as like a short little honorable mention? If there's any that like this just missed it. Um, short little honorable mention for me that I'm a huge fan of. And I only grabbed a couple of things just because, you know, running around the house trying to grab all my hot wheels and all that, that would be crazy. But um, Knight Rider, I am a huge Knight Rider fan. There's um, Kit, there's Car, um, there's uh, the Hot Wheels Special Edition with him in Super Pursuit mode. Um, this is a Hot Wheels concept if he was to be like some kind of Lamborghini looking thing. That's um, cool. And even though my, my rabbit got to them, I still own all the original releases of the actual DVD. But as you can see, my rabbit, she likes cardboard. But this has like all of the bonus features and I just can't get rid of it. Uh, I'll probably end up getting them on Blu-ray because I do want that German box set. My only problem with it is it's all in German. So I'm hoping that they give an American release for that. But I don't think they will. But, yeah, I'm a big Knight Rider fan. Um, and I got to get the car license plate, too, so I can display that as well. But I love this damn the, the replica of the license plate. It's probably my favorite piece right here. Germany releases crazy awesome stuff, by the way. I know the set you're talking about. Yeah, well, they're huge. They're huge on uh, David Hasselhoff, dude. Like, ridiculous. He still sells out coliseums out there when he does concerts. And the dude's like 70. He's, He's still selling out. <laughs> That's a really cool one, though. I love Knight Rider. Do you? Oh, All right, huge. so here's a, I, I would have it near me. But Knight Rider spawned a bunch of copycat stuff. Do you guys yeah. remember Viper? I loved Viper. Yeah, yeah I didn't mind Viper. I I, I didn't so cheesy, but I loved it. Yeah. I, Anderson. So I used to watch when I watched Knight Rider, of course I caught the reruns because it came out when I was three. So my grandmother used to always watch the reruns, but right after was another awesome show that nobody talks about was Airwolf. Airwolf, yeah. And oh, yeah. I loved Airwolf. Yeah, a lot of people like Airwolf. That's cool. Yeah, man, I used to love that. And then, uh, like, all the other ones, the, all the spinoffs they tried, like the movie, I didn't care for. I have that in that first season uh, th when he was a, sh you know, Bel Air. I, I wasn't into that. I didn't like the newer version, Knight Rider, when they came out with the 2000 version. Yeah. That was terrible. Team Knight Rider was terrible. And then the, the audacity to remake Knight Rider with a Ford Mustang, I could have slapped the producer for that. You don't <laughs> use a Ford, okay? You could have used anything else. Use whatever. Don't use a Ford Mustang to be – and then he was just doing all the – transforming into a different car pickup. That, that was just so oh, dumb. Heated. Somebody give him some ice. Well, I, I'm just saying, I'm just, <laughs> I was so, I was so hyped for a remake, you know, the, to see what they were going to do and see if they were going to pay homage to Kit and they just totally ruined it. I just yeah, didn't I like it at all. With the Mortal Kombat remake. I feel that pain. Yeah. yeah. I, didn't like that. I didn't like that Beautiful. new movie. I thought Painful, it was boring. Yeah. I, I actually didn't mind it. I didn't like it. I didn't hate it. It was just. It was, a movie. It was the, mediocre. The, the lead actor had no charisma at all. Like, like he's no. this new made-up character, and he's got no uh, charisma. And he's the lead Turner, of the movie. Yeah. And then, pretty much after that opening fight with Sub Zero and Scorpion, oh, it just in which they took that fight from the web series. By the way, almost exactly the same. Yeah, the best part of the movie was what they took from something else. They stole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wow. ridiculous. And like, literally, there's no. Like official Mortal Kombat tournament in a Mortal Kombat yeah. movie. Like yeah, right. the one thing you have to get right, you did not get right. They like <laughs> squeeze some BS tournament in the ten minutes at the end. Yeah, I did. I did, however, like the fatalities. Like I loved when you know uh, what's his name threw the hat at him, and you know I did I like the fatality. What, what was there? Three fatalities, yeah. but I mean I did like them. 
because you know they couldn't really do that. Was the best part for sure, but the acting besides yeah. Tino was really something. Oh, Tino's the best part of the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. if, if yeah. he wasn't in it, it'd be unwatchable. Yeah, I feel like I need to rewatch it. But <laughs> anyone else have any uh, honorables <clears throat> stuff that just missed it? Yeah, so I would say, uh, like, Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead's one of them. Mm-hmm. And uh, Problem, Problem Child 1 and 2 be another one. Mm-hmm. Those are just yeah. movies I love that a lot. Hey, Cody, did you see that? Oh, <laughs> did you see the Problem Child is getting a uh, VHS uh, retro yeah. slip? I actually yeah, already, I pre-ordered that one. I already have it on Blu-ray, but I... So I don't know if I want to get it just for that slip or not, or just have Side Hustle make me. Yeah, I'm about to say Side Hustle would definitely bust that one down. I mean, think about this though; those Mill Creek releases, like they're very, in, they're very inexpensive. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they're like eight dollars. Yeah, yeah it's, it's eight I bucks. I did, I, I did that one in the fan because I love that movie, The yeah. Fan. <laughs> Nobody talks about that. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. That's from that uh, that that box, right? Yeah, this was Side Hustle Cinema sent this to me here. Yeah, okay, because I see him open that up. Um, yeah, yeah, he knew I, was I watched fan. those unboxings. Yeah, Tony's still the best unboxer. No offense to anybody, but I love Tony's shit. I, I love your unboxings. Oh, he could do it all in like three minutes. I know. I know man. It's He'll come through 15 movies in four minutes. He's like, all right, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got he's got his speech at the end down pat. I'm on, let it box him. I, I, I can't even I'm do done. it. I yeah, can't I'm even done, do I'm it. done. I'm done. That takes longer than the video. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I do want to show some love for Judgment Night. Does anybody like Judgment Night? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Judgment yes. Night. That's a good one. Yep. I love this one. And the other one would be um, The Jackal. The Jackal's an amazing Oh, The Jackal's one. a good one. Yeah. yeah. Those are two. Those are my two honorable mentions. But both of those, if you've never seen those, definitely check those out. If you don't have them, Tim's going to buy everybody one. <laughs> yeah. well, I love this. Tim, Tim, you're giving okay. up a month's salary right here. So I am noticing, though, a lot of 90s movies getting love. Uh, I'm going to be doing another one of those top 25 community lists. Uh, everyone seemed to be okay with it when I put the thing out, and it's going to be 90s movies. So some of this oh, stuff is going to be a tough one. one. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Yeah. I got, a, I got um, a couple real quick, Tim. So this is, uh, to go back to the comedies, this is one I've always loved. It's, it feels like a John Hughes film, and it's just one of the guys. Yes. Oh, that's a good one. With, uh, Joyce Heiser and Clayton Rohner. Absolutely love that. Uh, and this is a film that wasn't a huge hit when it came out, but Big Trouble in Little China is still my personal favorite John Carpenter oh, film because it's that. so odd and bizarre. Like it hits me, like, and it's so quotable, you know? It's all in the reflexes, Wang, you know? And a, a lot of people crap on this, so I'm going to have to put some love on it. And that is the Tim Burton Planet of the Apes. Yeah. Because I love people that can perform in makeup, like Tim Curry and Legend and Je- uh, Jeff Goldblum and The Fly and, you know, everybody in that, you know, and it all stems back from these bad boys because I grew up on these. Tony, I know you did too. And so I'm a yeah. huge fan of all these Planet of the Apes, including the Tim Burton version. Yeah. Nice. That's a nice set too. Oh, uh, Mike went to go get something. Yeah, and, probably, uh, probably his ape oh, costume. No, <laughs> no, I, I didn't have if I'm sending anyone in the chat the movies, it's you. <laughs> oh, yeah, Tim, just real quick. I didn't pick these movies because I don't have any collectibles or other stuff to go with them. But I love these movies. So Life of a King is in my oh, top yeah. 10 list of all time. Collateral Beauty is the best holiday movie of all time, no doubt. So Here we go. Yeah, And Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Rain, Rain, Rain 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 games, Rain Rain games. Games. All day you have my money. <laughs> I love these so, movies. I actually, I, I don't think you'd be joking. You probably are one of the biggest fans of Collateral Beauty. I love Collateral yeah. Beauty. I have to watch I've never it seen every it. holiday. It makes me cry in tears every time. Hey, Mike, did, did I tell you what happened? I, I found Collateral Beauty at the swap meet and thought of you. I'm like, oh, that's it. I'm going to get it. Yeah. Popped it open. No disc. Bot- no, movie. Oh my God. no movie inside. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> man. So. Yeah, I found my copy at like a Walgreens for five bucks. So you never know. <laughs> but I would love a 4K still book, but never will happen. Ever. I'll be the only yeah. one buying it. <laughs> I've never seen it. I'm a, I'm a huge Will Smith fan. I know oh, he did his little, his little so thing, nice. but it's not going to change my opinion of who Will Smith is. He's a <laughs> Powerful. Yeah, Collateral Beauty. Like, if you like, uh, it's a Wonderful Life. Collateral Beauty is like a modern telling of that. Okay. 
I'll have to check that out. All right, so everybody mentioned whatever honorables, right? Because uh, yeah. all I would have, the only other one I had near me was uh, Last Castle does not get enough love. I freaking, this movie is fantastic. But uh, yeah, no one talks about this one. Yeah, Bob, I've never Bob knows it. it. I've never yeah. seen it. It's it's excellent. Robert Redford is a, a general who accidentally gets his men killed, so he goes to military prison and kind of gets all the other prisoners in line to stage an uh, like an uprising against the warden. It's fantastic. Uh, James Gandolfini is amazing. You got Mark Ruffalo in this. Delroy Lindo. It's a staff cast. It's fantastic. So that's the only one I got. Uh, this has been an awesome stream. Serious. <laughs> I have like yeah, I had a lot of fun. Yeah, I have several movies I have to watch tomorrow now, stuff that I have. Like, Bob's been on me about The Cure. I have to watch The Cure. Now I have to watch Hand, uh, The Hand That Rocked the Cradle. So, yeah, i got a busy tomorrow. I'm telling you, man, The Cure, it, it's going to make you cry. It's, it's powerful. I'm all for it. The, uh, the Hand That Rocks the Cradle made me cry when I was a kid. So I don't know if it'll make you cry now, but when I was a kid, it made me cry. Well, I'll double feature them tomorrow. I got nothing going on besides attempting to watch the NASCAR race that might be rained out. So, yeah, I'll, I'll watch movies. You know, you know, I live in the state where they have the museum, right? The NASCAR museum. Oh, for you live in North Carolina? Mm hmm. Yeah. I, I do I, now. I, best I, move I, I ever made. Yeah, I've been to that museum twice so far. I've not been to it yet. I've only lived out here for two years, but I'm going to come visit Tony because he's only about four hours away from me. Yeah, we, we can meet up at Orbit DVD. That, oh, yeah, you know, I was thinking about doing that on my vacation, and I never ended up going because I got sick, and I never ended up going. But I do want to go to Orbit DVD myself. Wait, why would I cry? Why would oh, you cry? Uh, Bob, don't cry. Oh. Don't cry. <laughs> Come here, Bob. I'll <laughs> hug you. I'll hug you. Mom, I'll I'll always you a hug. <laughs> That's great. Take it. All right. So. Let's run through starting at Tony. Just give your pretty much your close out, just like every other stream in the world. Uh, Tony, what, what you got to say? Anything upcoming? Um, no, but I do appreciate you inviting me to be a part of this. I, I love showing off the old VHS tapes. Um, I did get into the totes today to be able to pull these. So I've got some Instagram posts coming up with some of my VHS collection. Um, I do have a live stream sometime oh. next week. I've got. <laughs> I gotta get I gotta get a calendar. I gotta start writing these live streams down because I don't ever want to miss being a part of these. But I really do appreciate you asking me to be a part of this. I'm the one that has to say thank you. I thank you to everyone that is on this panel and everybody that watched. Seriously, uh, this has been so much fun. <laughs> All right, Nick, you got anything going on? Yeah, uh, well, I'm gonna take a little. A little bit of a hiatus for a little bit. You know, spend some time with the family, but I'll be back in two weeks with a another video. Um, I like to consider myself home with a top five, and I've got some pretty um, good people coming up, lining up, uh, including one with you, Tim. Yeah, once um, I get the video. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's cool. I, there, there's no rush really, but um, yeah, man, I just I like to do top fives. I like to talk about movies and my new segment, life lessons. Didn't take off like I wanted it to, but, you know, I guess you always hold higher expectations, but, you know, I, I'm thinking it'll, it'll pick up some steam because I'm just not the guy that's always going to buy movies to, to undo. I, you know, I, I just buy what I love and learn from some of these movies. So stay tuned for some more of those uh, life lessons videos. Just do what you love and yep, the views will, doing views will come. Yeah, just do what you love. All right, Cody. Got anything going on besides hopefully get it feeling much better? Yeah. So yeah, I did not I did not do a video this week at all because I was sick. I'm in the middle of editing a video, a top five with uh, our boy Nick over there that's coming out soon. Uh, and uh, I have a couple streams coming up in a couple weeks. Uh, one is going to be our a top ten best comedies of two uh, thousands from two thousand to two thousand nine, and then another one is. Uh, oh, I'm, I, I don't know if I'm supposed to announce it yet, so I won't, but uh, I think I have a stream coming up with Bob coming up soon featuring an actress. So, yeah, that that's that's a thumbnail I have to create. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 a lot of, creator. 
I forget. <laughs> there's so much going on sometimes. I forget what's announced and what's not. So I'm like, oh yeah, I probably shouldn't be talking about that. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I actually think he did mention it though in uh, the last stream we were in. Gosh, streams blend together. Did he? But uh, yeah, he did. He did mention it because uh, okay. fish, fish is gonna be on it. Yeah, yeah fish is on it. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. it was already mentioned. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, top top five Kelly Preston. Mm. All right, Mike, got anything? Oh, I always got tons of stuff. But first, thank you, Tim, for having us on. Like, this was a brilliant idea, and it was so fun. Like, oh, my goodness. So, so happy to be a part of this stream. And now I got so many great recommendations. Like, I haven't seen, like, three quarters of the stuff you guys recommend. So I got to watch Secure, Breakdown, all that good stuff. Uh, but for my channel, I have videos dropping every day. There's an Amazon Dills video coming out tomorrow morning. And I was shocked by some of the deals I found. So look forward to that. Um, I got my next live stream Thursday night is going to be a Creed 3 pregame show. So I'm going to have a pregame and a postgame for that. Now, that's been the toughest panel to find people for. So I need a couple spots still filled. So if anybody's a Rocky fan out there, it seems like we had some Rocky fans in the chat tonight. <laughs> uh, let me know if you're seeing Creed 3 this weekend and you want to be part of a, the pregame and postgame, just hit me up on Instagram, please. After that, I got Scream 6 pregame and postgame. That one was super easy to fill. And then I got oh, a Poplar's Award show coming up later in March. But you guys know, tons of stuff going on. Just stop by the channel, give a sub, hit that notification bell. And visit everybody else's channel, too, because everybody does amazing content and enjoy their videos. Yes. All, again, all links down below, except for Hawk, which I will put in right after because he was a special guest. But even links for the people that weren't able to make it for different reasons. Uh, they are still awesome people that deserve subs. So please yeah. sub to them, too. Plus, but, plus, uh, plus, Mike did a video today talking about how bad the Star Wars. Oh, yes. <laughs> I did one rant on that. I did, I did have one good... that was I did the opposite. So yeah, like, I I watched, yeah watch both together. Watch both. I, I, back to yeah, back. I, I, did. I, I was like I commented, I'm more along with Tony. I like the look of yeah. them. I, I, I like the Disney visual program. Yeah. But yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Huck, what you got? Man, that was hard to follow. Uh, yeah, what a great night tonight. I was glad I could sneak in as the uh, special guest. A lot of fun. I definitely had my swag ready to go. And I love the, the the deeper, more intimate cuts that some of you guys pulled. Because, um, you know, I, I was figuring fans, so I had to pull out a lot of fandom stuff. So that was a lot of fun digging a lot of this up. I, I'm, I'm missing half my stuff. I have props and stuff from Star Trek I didn't show you guys, like tricorders and phasers and all that good stuff. Maybe I'll do a video on that. All my collection. I was about to say, do a video. I would yeah, love no, to see why that. Not? Um, speaking of that kind of thing, uh, be on the lookout next month with, uh, Tim and Mike and myself, as we do the collector's club that you can all join. It's like it's a club, right? Uh, that is going to be super fun. So more details on that as they come, stop by my channel. I'm always doing stuff on there. I got my live morning shows every Tuesday morning. Uh, on Fridays, I tend to try to drop some of those custom consolidations and everybody loves when I rip and shred into the old packaging of the unwanted DVDs. <laughs> classic uh but yeah you know stop on by hit like subscribe and all that good stuff all righty fantastic uh once again before we go thank you again to everybody still in here everyone that watched and everyone on the panel you're all awesome yay movies uh, so. yay, movies. yay movies i thank you for having me man yeah, yeah thanks for having me bye everyone bye, bye guys